Hey guys, Denvito Chips here, and we're jumping into an all new episode of Denvito Gaming. I am gonna be reviewing the very recent release of Nintendo Switch's Mario Party Superstars, and I'm really excited to dig into this with you guys. But before we do that, please be sure to ring the bell, subscribe to the channel, like this video, maybe comment when you're done. Here is my review of Mario Party Superstars. Ever since they were dropping titles on the N64, I have been an uber fan of Mario Party games. And in the course of that time, I've lost a lot of friends. A lot of friends. <laughs> Previous entries have experienced some extreme highs and lows, which is why today I'm gonna to be giving you my pros and cons of Mario Party Superstars. Here are the pros. Without a doubt, one of the main highlights of the Mario Party games has been their mini games, and this title does not disappoint. This game is loaded with mini games from N64 and GameCube. Literally the best mini games ever that have ever been released are on this title. Without a shadow of a doubt, this game alone is worth buying just for the mini games. You can pass hours of time going through all of these different titles of mini games. They're gonna be ones that you remember from the 90s, from the 2000s. It's a collection of Mario Party best hits mini games. Except now Nintendo is telling fans of one particular mini game to not tilt and spin the joystick with your palm. Don't dang tell me what to do, Nintendo. Whether you're nostalgic for the old mini games or you're just looking for something new to play and this is an entry level title for you, buying this game for the mini games alone is worth it. And it has to be because that premium price of $60 you and I both know is not going anywhere. <laughs> Another amazing thing about this title is that the game has been remastered to perfection. You don't have to be a nerd of the technicalities of the game to appreciate the lighting, the sharpness of the graphics, the characters, the colors, everything has literally just been ironed and smoothed out to perfection. There were several times that I was playing mini games where I was so distracted by how good this game looked compared to the one that I played when I was like six years old. It's mind blowing. And I'm gonna be honest, being a fan of the original Mario Party titles does make me a bigger fan of this one because of how it's converted old to new. It's a beautiful remaster. And finally, what makes the game so great is its simple gameplay. If you're familiar with the earlier titles of the Mario Party series, you'll understand and know that the gimmicks were in short supply. As we've been going through these newer titles of Mario Party for the Wii, the Wii U, even the Switch, some of the boards and the gimmicks in the game are not great. There have been times where I've craved playing just a simple Mario Party board game with simple orbs and no gimmicks and no tricks. This game delivers on the promise that you're gonna have an easy, accessible, fun time playing a game that isn't gonna take too much knowledge to figure out. No game is without its imperfections. So without further ado, the con. Ironically, I only have one, which just goes to show how great the game title really is. My one quip with Mario Party Superstars is the lack of maps. For some reason, Nintendo thinks that Mario Party fans only need about four or five maps to be happy. In a world where Mario Golf Super Rush has nine maps to it, we expect a little more out of our Mario Party games. Next to the mini games themselves, the boards are the most important and key element of Mario Party games. So I really don't understand why they limit us with so few boards. I would like to see a minimum of seven, eight, maybe nine boards. If I had that many boards, this game would last for years. But as a result, because of the lack of maps, I'm gonna be coming back to the game more for the mini games rather than the boards, which isn't such a huge deal, but is slightly unfortunate. And now for the verdict. After carefully weighing the quality of the game and what it provides, I'm going to give it a very strong eight out of 10. It was an amazing game. It brought back a lot of nostalgia for me and I've had a blast playing it. Without a doubt, it is the best Mario Party game since the original three on the Nintendo 64. It for me surpassed every title in the past 10 to 15 years or so. If you're a fan of the Mario Party games or you just like having fun with friends and family and playing something casual, I strongly encourage you to get a hold of this game. You won't regret it. It's an amazing time. And like I said, that $60 premium isn't going anywhere, so you might as well get it now so you can enjoy it for a couple of more years before they release the new Nintendo Switch. That isn't the OLED. And there you have it. That is my review of Mario Party Superstars. Have you played Mario Party Superstars? Or are you a fan of the other older titles? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, please be sure to ring the bell, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment when you're done. Not only does it give me a chance for me to connect with you guys, but it also helps boost the morale of the channel, which is always great. Thanks so much for tuning in for this episode of Denvito Gaming. Take care and be blessed.